Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video in this one, my friends. I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 780 in 2021. This one is the ASUS uh, DirectCU 2 version of the card. In my opinion, it's quite beautiful and it has some holographic stickers as you can see, so it might give us a little bit more FPS because of that. I don't know. <laughs> you know, RGB would be cool, but at least you get that. As you can see, it has a back plate as well. It's quite heavy and it was a high-end GPU back in 2013 when it launched, of course. Now, the 780 released for 649 US dollars back in 2013, as I told you already. It's a 250 watt card, so it consumes quite a bit of power and it's probably going to become expensive over the months if you buy it now in 2021. It has 3 gigabytes of VRAM, which is just Okay, it's like hanging in there, I guess. And unfortunately, my friends, it is a Kepler GPU. And uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but Kepler hasn't really aged that well, at least in the newer titles. You know, it struggles quite a bit to keep up with even like a 1050 Ti, for example. So let's put it to the test and see if you should pay like 120 bucks in 2021 for it, shall we? And here we go, G. GeForce GTX 780 showing up there in MSI Afterburner as well as GPU Z. You can see all of its specs right here. And we're running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X as well as 32 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, these are overkill specs for a 780, but you should get the same FPS with like a Ryzen 33100 or i7 4770K overclocked. So, GTA 5, my friends, we're playing it at the 1080p resolution using the DirectX 11. API and very high settings. It's not completely maxed out. Few settings like grass quality are set to high, for example, and advanced settings are all turned off. Now, GTA 5 is an extremely well optimized game and it came out in 2015 for PC, 2013 for consoles. As the GTX 780 was a high end GPU back in 2013. Well, it's no surprise that it can actually run this game absolutely flawlessly. You know what? I should probably drive this car more often because the handling is quite nice and the sound that it makes is actually quite relaxing. Look at that. Don't... Almost 100 FPS on average there, guys. It's so awesome. This is really, really great. You know what, sometimes I actually feel like I'm a good driver in GTA 5, you know? <laughs> but now comes the part where I kill a ton of people! I am so sorry! I am so sorry! Come on, come get out of the way! Why did you stay there? Okay, okay, alrighty, alright, it's all good. It's all good. Tires are, are broken. I gotta turtle up, my friends. Here we go. And now... It's Jackie time! Let's go! Uh, it's dropping into the 60s and 70s here in this very... Shut up, Michael! Demonetization is coming if you keep with those words. But yeah, hello, Jack! What is up, boy? How's it going, friend? Why do you keep running away? I don't understand. Anyway, friends, this is very playable. 1% lows are dropping there. Look at that. Inside of the bushes and stuff. This is very intensive. Some ears. Oh, God. Michael, why do you have to be such an ass? Anyway, I really do think that these settings are very adequate for a 780 in GTA 5. Very, very good start here for the 780. Okay, guys, it's my favorite Battlefield title. Battlefield 5. I hate this game, actually. <laughs> I love the other Battlefields. I don't really like this one. But we're playing it at 1080p resolution using the high settings, as you can see. And um, I already died once. Uh, uh, okay. Let's just start counting our frames here, shall we? Let's get at it. Team kill. Oh, we're playing. Oh, my God. And I died. Oh, with the team killers. Oh, my gosh. What is happening? <laughs> All right. Now that I know that it's hardcore, it might actually be a little bit easier. That, yep. That's it's still very playable. You know, I it's very impressive what dice have been doing with this frostbite engine. A guy can only hope that Battlefield 6 will be just as optimized. 
You know what? We're gonna play Valorant after this one so I can actually do something. <laughs> please, please, please! Thank you! Finally got one! Alright, where are the enemies now? See, it's kind of easy if you just camp like the enemy team. This is why I'm losing so much or dying so much. Oh boy, oh boy, they're coming. They coming. Yep, there we go. There we go, we got it. There's another one. All right, we're finally doing something, guys. Look at that. <laughs> of course, it's just camping there waiting for me. Ah. Oh. Oh, did I spawn or not? Okay. Oh, the guy's still there. Ah, oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, boy. Nope. Just, it's enough. All right, before we go to Valorant, I need to chill for a little bit. We're playing Horizon Zero Dawn at 1080p resolution using medium settings. And uh, here we go. We're actually in a very demanding area. Can you please get out of the fire alloy? What are you doing? What is happening? <laughs> so this is a demanding area, but we can't really see it. <laughs> are we good now? Okay, thank you. Just had to reload the game. Let's start counting our frames here and go to the city because that's where our FPS are going to drop the most. And seeing like 30 or 40 FPS is actually a surprise because the last time that I tested this game, it was on a 780 Ti. And that was quite a bit faster, getting like 50 FPS, I believe. The game also requires 3 gigabytes of VRAM as a minimum for you to play it properly. And it seems like it's it's right there, you know? VRAM usage at 2.977 gigabytes. You know what? I would probably play this one on low settings. It will definitely stay above 30 FPS all of the time on low. Um, also... The game suffers from a blinking issue on the 700 series and 600 series GPUs. So if you're sensitive to textures blinking all over the place, I don't really recommend you to pick up Horizon Zero Dawn with a 780. But other than that, it's an all right experience. Even at 1080p resolution, it can handle this game. All right, time for Valorant. We're playing at high settings with four times MSAA anti-aliasing. Just gonna set the UI quality to low because it doesn't really matter to the gameplay, you know? And uh, 1080p resolution, let's do this. All right, so the Ryzen 3 3100 that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video won't really be capable of getting these kinds of FPS that we're seeing. Because, uh, yeah, you really need a beefy CPU if you want, like, 300 plus FPS. That said, we're only testing the GPU here in this one. And, uh, yeah, the 5900X allows us to see 99% or 90 plus percent usage on the GPU. Uh, so, yeah, this is what the 780 can do while not CPU bottlenecked. Okay. I think I suck at Valorant as well now. That's awful. That was the only game that I knew how to play well. Kind of. <laughs> what the hell? I just keep hearing sounds everywhere. I don't understand. Wow, well, okay. You know what? This might be a good map for us to try the operator, actually. What the f What are you doing? What? <laughs> so everybody just stopped playing for me to get some kills, finally. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, 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 how the heck did I miss? Okay. Thing there. What the heck? All right, okay. I, I kind of like this map now. Just spent way too much time without playing Valorant, but I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, no! Oh, ah, I still got the guy, okay. Ah, she got one kill left now, guys. I think I'm screwed. I can't see anybody as well. No! How did it... She found the AFK, guy. Time for Call of Duty Warzone. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution using the lowest settings. As you can see, even the textures are set to very low. 
Okay, while well, dropping, things are not looking too bad. Uh, let's start counting our frames here. Okay, we're here getting 50s. That's all right. That's not too different from the last time that I tested this game with the 780. Ooh, things are dropping here. What the hell? Yeah, the game is a little bit broken sometimes. Like, things that shouldn't really be that intensive are now very intensive. Like, looking at this shield and this thing right here. Yep. Yeah, it's it's very weird. <laughs> this is just as intensive as looking at the entire city from above. Speaking of, we're gonna see that right now. Okay, so look at it. Yeah, it's actually less intensive to look at the entire city than to a shield in the ground. Well, just as intensive here. Uh, very interesting how they managed to break optimization in lots of different ways with every seasonal up update, yeah. You know, they should feature it in the patch notes and stuff. We finally managed to break optimization when you're looking at items in the ground. Now, the new feature lets you get 30 FPS. Oh my gosh, what the hell, where? Oh boy, okay. Okay, just chill guys, chill camping snipers in rooftops. God damn it, man. They're everywhere. Look at that. What the? What? How are you here? What the hell? Ooh, what the? Where? Why? What? I don't know, guys. So is this a playable experience? Oh my... Stop it. They're so annoying. Oh my gosh. Camping snipers everywhere. Ugh. Well, it is playable. Time for the buggiest game ever. It's Cyberbug 2077. We're playing it at 1080p resolution using the low settings, as you can see. No resolution scaling and the low crowd density as well. At 1080p low, I was expecting it to be a little bit better than a GTX 1050 Ti, since on paper it's almost like 50% faster than that card. Um, but uh, it seems like it's not the case here, guys. It's dropping into the 20s, so I think we kind of need to use some resolution scale for it to be a playable experience. Let's do that. And that's the problem with Kepler GPUs. Let's do 80% of 1080p, by the way. They just aged very poorly in comparison to something like the 900 series, for example. The 700 and 600 series GPUs don't perform well at all in uh, DX12 and Vulkan titles, unfortunately. They are pretty decent in DirectX 11 titles, though. And we're approaching the most demanding area right now. And as you can see... Well, at least you can play it, I guess, at the... Uh, 1080p resolution with 80% render scale. It's not a bad experience. Doesn't drop from 30 FPS, it seems. So, it's a playable experience. I, I just expected way better coming from a GPU that on paper is a lot faster than the 1050 Ti, for example. Rainbow Six Siege, we're playing it at the 1080p resolution using low settings and 100% resolution scale, so we're actually at native 1080p resolution. And uh, for comparison, the GTX 1050 Ti got 120 FPS on average in this game at the same settings and like 81% lows, I believe. Uh, which was pretty good, of course, but I imagine the 780 Ti is going to be a little bit faster because this is a DirectX 11 title. Right. Oh! Oh! There's another one! Isn't it? What? What the? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh! There was another one! I, I... Ah! Why didn't I believe myself? What the hell? Okay, round is done, and we got 140 FPS on average, which is really good. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful this time around, and I'm gonna believe what I see. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, of course there's... Ah! Ah! Why did I do that? I'm just gonna run the benchmark run now, so you can see that it's uh, very consistent, and we're probably gonna get the same FPS. So 1% lows are already pretty much the same as we've seen uh, while playing it, but the averages are actually a little bit better, like 10 FPS higher than what we saw. So that's it. 
Rainbow Six Siege is very, very playable. Time for Apex Legends. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution using the low settings for that competitive experience once again. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a 60 plus FPS experience because Apex is another one of those titles that doesn't really like old GPUs. I think that for 60 plus, you'd actually be looking at 720p resolution with a card like this one. Uh, at least that, that's what I saw when I last benchmarked the 780 in this game in a separate video. Still pretty good and the averages are going to be amazing, but for a competitive experience, again, you really want to aim for 60 plus or even 100 plus FPS at times, uh, not 80 on average and probably lower than 60 uh, on the 1% lows. I'm just going to throw a smoke here real quick. And you can see the FPS already dropping by a lot. My boys are already dead. Okay, let's go. All right, we got this. No, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, he doesn't have shields anymore. We got the wingman here. He's gone at this point, I think. I got a little bit of ping as well. Um... Yes, we're fine, right? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm screwed now. Okay, let's throw some smokes, try to get away from here. Are the guys actually running slower than usual? I'm just gonna wait for my ultimate now. I'm sorry, guys, I can't really recover your things without dying. And I got a benchmark to do. <laughs> we're gonna see the lowest FPS possible here. Uh, unless you actually combine some ultimates and stuff, of course. Uh, so, inside of smokes and stuff, like the explosions, you know, it gets 50s. Not too bad. That was also a little bit underwhelming, in my opinion. Okay, okay, okay. I was expecting a bigger drop as well. No! All right, we're playing CSGO at the 1080p resolution using low settings for that competitive experience once again. And... Gotcha. This is yet another one of those games that uh, if you want uh, 400 FPS like we're getting right now, what were you doing there? You will need quite a beefy CPU, okay? Yeah, I wanted to go with the op, not the AK. What the hell? These guys are just waiting on this one. What? <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Let's uh, hit some flicks here, guys. Oh, another one! Come on, stop spawning, like, everywhere, guys. Ah, uh, why are the chickens gray now? Or white? What the hell? I've never seen those. Ah, a couple of stutters. The game's still broken, of course, but it's, it's awesome. Like, the experience on the 780 is definitely still amazing. All right. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> Got him! Okay. <laughs> There's a guy just waiting for the other one to spawn in. Oh god. Oh god, this is a server made of campers. <laughs> Ooh, you missed, boy. Shouldn't have missed that. And there's another one. We're fine. We got this. I'm again getting the hang of this. Oh, oh, I double scoped. Ho ho ho! You know what? Something like a Ryzen 5 3600 with a 780 for CSGO would actually be really good. You would get around these FPS in competitive, by the way. Not in deathmatch. In deathmatch, you'd probably see like 300, 350. Okay, so I just did that. Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no! Shouldn't have gone for the no scope. Ah. <sighs> What the? How did you? Oh, no. He was staying there. Of course, he, he always camps there. Oh, that guy, man. Seriously. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no. Got him. I actually got him. <laughs> what is it with these spawn points? They're always getting worse. What is this? Ah. Uh. You know what? I'll be happy if the game ends now because I got 420 points. I'm not even gonna kill anybody else, okay? I think people just don't have fun in CSGO, like... Nobody wants a knife fight, even. Alright, buddy. At least you got the kill, right? 
All right, Far Cry New Dawn. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the low. I just set it to high. Far Cry New Dawn. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the low settings, I guess. So I guess this is going to be for a 60 plus FPS experience. Oh boy, that thing barely uh, died. But barely died. Of what even is that? Uh, <laughs> we barely made a scratch on that thing. You know what? Let's follow him around. Uh, usually when you're running through bushes uh, or driving through bushes, um, you get the least FPS in this game. And that's actually lowering our 1% lows, I believe. Uh, still a very nice experience here in Far Cry New Dawn. What? Oh, no. Now, the question is, can we get 69 FPS on average here? Like, uh, I'm gonna keep on running around, you know, but it's so close. Hello. Uh, oh, I don't have bullets in the pistol as well. No, okay, okay, it takes forever to kill them by punching. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got 69 FPS average right there. I could end it right now, and that, that would be great, you know, but what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I gotta... A freaking army of boars after me look at this ah hello dude i i kind of need your car oh take down yes 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 give me your weapons give me give me everything <laughs> what is happening stop it stop it oh my god am i gonna die am i gonna die okay okay we got this we got this it's fine we just need to regenerate some health now and then we're gonna kill them all all right guys so uh I guess this is it. At least we got 69 FPS on average. Jesus. Okay. We we survived. They're not dead yet, though. What the hell? I got two rockets left. Let's try to get them closer to each other. And there we go. I'm not dead. Oh, he's not dead yet. Are you kidding me? You're gonna die, finally. Okay, how did I get two bullets? Well, ah, uh, beautiful lens flares, by the way. Look at that. What if I make, like, a food channel? We're playing Fortnite right now at 1080p resolution using competitive settings, but not with the uh, performance mode. We're in DirectX 11. All right, as always, we're dropping in the Whipping Woods, which is very intensive compared to other areas for the GPU to render. And, uh, yeah, 130 is looking at the entire Whipping Woods. That's really damn good. I don't even think that you need to play with performance mode because this is very, very smooth. Look at that. Even inside of bushes, 120 frames per second. These are amazing results. This is like RX 570 levels of performance here in Fortnite. And all because it supports the DirectX 11 API, which runs very, very well with Kepler GPUs. So if you're playing Fortnite, an older GPU from the 700 series, uh, GTX, of course, not like the GT series, those are really bad. Uh, but yeah, something like the 770, 760, 780 will perform really well in this game. What? I just... I just want to eat. I just want to have dinner. Come on, guys. Just let me. Oh! The boars are like in Far Cry New Dawn. Okay. Well, I, I, I shot him once and then I missed everything. No! <laughs> that was so bad. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Ah! Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Let's go. Uh... They got him. Nice. What the? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just chill, buddy. Chill. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, M1 Garand. Is this good in Fortnite? Okay, one down there. And... Got him. Good stuff. Oh, what the hell? I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, I don't understand this game. Oh, boy. Oh, damn it. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> All right, we're now playing Rust at the 1080p resolution using kind of like medium to high graphics settings. Maybe like medium. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to call it medium settings. Wow, Rust is kind of different. Like the grass 
is a lot different from the from what I remember, you know? And it's running really well on the GTX 780. Holy crap, I like this. And I also like that they didn't really ruin performance to update some graphic settings. That's amazing. Like it's it's not like Warzone. They don't change anything graphically. Well, the latest update had like a, a blue or green-ish filter over it, but that was about it. And the FPS of course dropped by like 10 or so or 20 in some GPUs. This one, however, is performing really well. I'd totally play a Rust like this. It's above 60 FPS, even in the manic areas. Now, textures aren't really anything special at these settings, but we gotta keep them on low or like at two out of six because uh, we only have three gigabytes of VRAM and this game will eat a lot of VRAM if you set it to ultra or like six out of six. Oh, hi, there's a guy right there. I don't really have microphone attached to uh, my PC right now, I'm recording the voice friendly separately. Friendly or because nah, my friend needs help in gas station. There are two people uh, holding him. You're friendly or nah? I am friendly, yes. <laughs> Alright, but... Okay, so, you see my friend there, under the gas stations? Yeah, and there's two people on the roof. I don't see... I need a distra oh. distraction, okay? Oh, boy! There we go! Oh, boy, that guy has some good aim right there. Beautiful. I wish I could actually speak to people here. Hello! No, 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 no. <laughs> and we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 this time around at 1080p resolution using kind of like low, medium settings, you know? Most things are on medium, but there are a few things on low and a few things on high. Yeah, motion blur is also enabled. Sometimes it gets decent FPS, you know? Look at that. Most of the time, it might actually be playable. But it will drop here and there from 30 FPS. I mean, if you're playing with a controller, it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't feel too bad. But I don't know. I would probably lower a couple of the settings. Maybe the shadows, which are usually intensive. Uh, still, the averages are going to be well above 30 FPS. That is great. Well, I now remember that the original GTX Titan, which is also a Kepler GPU, it didn't really perform that well here in Red Dead 2 whatsoever, so it's not really that surprising that the 780 is not doing that good of a job, but it's still playable. I'm just gonna run the benchmark run here. All right, seems like in snowy areas you get pretty similar FPS to what we were getting. And over in a forest at night, as you can see, it's getting 40s, quite a bit higher than what we were experiencing during the gameplay, actually, in a similar area. Middle of nowhere, it actually is more intensive than the other forest scene. Valentine, not too sure, but it's a semi-demanding area here in Red Dead 2. It's getting pretty okay FPS as well. And finally, the last scene, which is in Saint Denis. It was actually where we were benchmarking it, and it is dropping into the mid 20s at times, guys. Not very good. I could still play like this, I guess. The FPS don't drop from 30 that often. And if I was using a controller, I think it would be less noticeable. All right, there we go. We got our results 1080p resolution using high settings. It's PUBG. Okay, let's go. Oh boy, let's start counting our frames here. 60s, not bad. Let's see if I can... Oh, oh my gosh, so much like sensitivity there. I don't think I customized my sensitivity for when I scope in. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be great. I think they are there. Is that a guy? Yes, it was. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Interesting. It's like a, a worm. I should be the one just crawling around. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I think I'm gonna die. I can't really shoot them, guys. The sensitivity is way too high. Oh, boy. Okay. Ah, <laughs> my teammates just kill them all. I'm just walking around. <laughs> all right. That was a good shot, finally. Oh, no, 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 no. I know there's a worm there. Come on. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, never mind. Oh, hello there. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm dead, guys. I think I'm dead. Yep. Oh my god, I suck so much at this game. Well, it's kind of hard with this sensitivity anyways. 
Okay, that was finally a decent shot and I died instantly after, but that's all right. Oh, come on! Now that I finally had him in my sights, the game decided, nope, you're gonna hit the damn plane instead. All right, guys, so this is Serious Sam 4. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution, DirectX 11, and we're using like default settings here where I changed them here in performance. Not too bad, and it's looking all right, you know? Even the textures don't look that bad. Oh boy, what the? What the hell? Okay, yeah, I forgot this was serious. Sam, I gotta start counting our FPS. Let's go. Let's move away. Jesus. These are like dogs. They sound like dogs. What the hell? All right, and that's a big boy right there. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. This is amazing. Look at this. How is it running so well on a 780? Like, this is actually the first time that I'm playing Serious Sam 4. I bought it in Humble Bundle like a month ago. And we're dead. We didn't even last a minute again. <laughs> what is this? A shotgun. Auto shotgun, I guess. Ooh. Oh, this is so much better. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Maybe we're going to last more than a minute now, guys. That's amazing. All right, I got, I got, I, I need more ammo. Okay, there we go. Let's go out of shotgun. There it is. Boom. Boom. Love it. This is amazing. This is awesome. Why am I only playing this game now? I really want to play more of it. Two minutes, 46 seconds. All right, guys, it's conclusion time. Do I recommend the GeForce GTX 780 in 2021? Well, if you can grab one for like 80 bucks, I think that's a fair price to pay for a GTX 780 these days. I actually bought this one for 60 or 65 euros a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, it performs incredibly well in a lot of newer titles. I was expecting a lot worse performance in some of them and it impressed me quite a bit. Now, if you're playing like Apex Legends or other games that require newer GPU architectures to run well, this is not really a very good option. Uh, you should look into like a 1050, 1050 Ti, maybe like GTX 960, 950 as well, because those consume a lot less uh, than this one and they will perform the same or better. But if all you play are DirectX 11 titles, older games and stuff like that, this will actually do a really, really good job at it. So I can recommend it for the right price, of course. That's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.